What's good with your man? You watching AGTV, and on this episode, we got another viral Jamaican clip. So on this one, we got part 20. Yes, you heard that correctly. The big 2 0. We got part 20, man. I never thought I would be doing a part 20 to anything in my life. Part 20 is crazy. But we got part 20 viral Jamaican clips. This is how many clips y'all done sent me back to back to back to back to back. You know what I'm saying? Crazy enough, I'm just now starting to kind of run out of the clips that y'all be sending me on Instagram. So I appreciate y'all for sending me these, but I need y'all to keep them coming. Anytime y'all on Instagram see something funny, you know what I'm saying? See something that you feel like will go good with one of these. They ain't even got to be funny, but just anything you feel like will be good with one of these videos, send it to my Instagram. You feel me? My Instagram is AGTV Clips. I'm going to say it for you again. AGTV Clips. I'm going to spell it for you. A-G-T-V-C-L-I-P-S. AGTV Clips, man. Send me all the clips, all the viral shit, the funny. You know what I'm saying? Just everything. DM it to me, man. I need all the clips in the world. So I can keep this going for you. We done made it to part 20. Y'all done did y'all part. We made it to part 20. Everything I ever react to on this channel, maybe besides like a few little videos, I'm going to say about 90% of the videos I do on this channel is something that's been requested to me. Every This whole channel is based off what y'all want, literally. It's only a few videos that I done did on my own that I feel like will be good for the channel. I'm like 10% of the mindset that come with like the ideas. Y'all is a whole 90%, so I need y'all, you feel me? Like, literally, without y'all, there's no channel, literally, like, literally, bro. So, send me the clips, man, but other than that, I'm gonna stop talking, man. I ain't got too much to say besides that. Let's just get into it. You have this much fun during high school. Is this appropriate? Well, I'm trying to think about the song. Is the song appropriate for, for kids? I don't know. Y'all let me know. I don't know. Y'all let me know. I can't I can't even think right now. Is the song appropriate for kids at school? Y'all live in Jamaica. They would have never let us play. That's like if we let that's like if our kid, I mean our kid. That's like if our teacher played Lil Wayne for the kids at school. You know what I'm saying? We'll be turned as fuck, but like, that would never happen. I'm confused. You feel me? <laughs> Cause in this music video that Kraft did, it was a whole bunch of bitches shaking ass. So I, he had to be saying some shit in there. And this is why in Jamaica, I feel like y'all grow up to have so much rhythm and y'all so good at moving y'all bodies in different ways because look at what y'all do as kids. Look how lit y'all are as kids. When we was kids, we didn't have this much unison. Like, if you played a song that we all liked, I ain't, no, I'm going to keep it real. If you played, the only time we would be in unison like this to where we could do the same movements and not be unorganized, if you played Soldier Boy, everybody in the world knew Soldier, Soldier Boy dance. Y'all probably even know Soldier Boy dance. Everybody in the world was doing Soldier. Wait, you? I mean, you? Everybody in the world was doing it. That's the only Soldier Boy. I've been in. Oh, I'll be great. Everybody was doing it. You feel me? That's the only time we could be in unison. But in Jamaica, the kids' rhythm is out of this world, bro. And they turn at a young age. Now, when it comes to, she about to do that that weird little thing with her body and shit. Watch. What the fuck is that shit? How do you do that shit? Anyway, this this is the thing about these type of videos, right? When it comes to the females that can do all this type of shit. Now, I know y'all probably think when I'm watching something like this, I'm like in the turned on type of mood, or I'm in like the, you feel me? Like y'all probably looking at me like I'm looking at them like. You feel me? In a sexual type of way. Whole time, when it comes to these type of females who can do all these flips and shit, I kind of be more in shock. You know what I'm saying? I be kind of be more, like, impressed than, like, turned on. Because it be like, she's shaking her ass and shit. But, like, this bitch just did, like, 30 different flips in, in three seconds. 
You know what I mean? Like, and then landed in a split, and then still was able to shake her ass. Like, like she just landed her pussy on the ground at a hundred at a hundred miles per hour. That shit probably, if you add the miles per hour that, if you add the miles per hour plus the impact her pussy just hit the ground, the it probably was about ten tons of impact, bro. Ten pounds of imp, ten a hundred pounds of impact that just went on her pussy when she hit that ground, bro. And you trying to tell me? That that's not amazing. I'm not even looking at that sexually. I'm like, bro, how don't your pussy hurt? That's what I, that's what I'm really thinking about. I'm gonna keep it real. You see what I'm saying though? In point two seconds, this bitch just turned into a human tarantula. I don't know how she did that. Like, how do you do that? And, and it was no effort. It was easy. No effort. Then she met... What is that? Like, don't get me wrong. If I was up under her do, while she was doing this, that shit's sexy as fuck. But, like, me just looking at it on the computer screen, it's like, where, did you, where was your mind at? Like, when you was practicing this, like, whose idea was it? To put your arms up under your legs while they spread open like that and then just start bouncing. Like, how do you, how is your body in this position and you still able to bounce up and down? You know what I'm saying? Like, like physically, like fundamentally, as far as the body go, you would think that that wasn't possible. Because you flat. Like, ain't nothing bent and you still able to move. Like, how can I explain it? Usually to like go up and down, you need to be in something. She flat as fuck. And she's still able to move. That's not like, that's not a normal thing. Like, what is that? Don't tell me this is Shelly. Who the fuck is this? Who was that, bro? I don't know if that was Shelly or not. I feel like I didn't see I didn't see no braids, bro. That couldn't have been Shelly without the braids. That ain't Shelly. That nigga got a fade. Get this this bootleg ass Shelly. Listen, y'all know how I feel about Shelly Belly. Y'all know me and him got beef. He probably don't even know about it, but me and him got beef. Like I got problems with Shelly sometimes, cause he just over the top. You know what I'm saying? And he be risking, he risk lives every video. You know what I'm saying? But that's beside the point. We not talking about Shelly right now. Why is this nigga trying to take Shelly's place? Like, I, you know, I gotta, me and she, I still, like, it's like I feel a way about Shelly, but that's still my nigga deep down inside. You get what I'm saying? Like, can't nobody, this nigga getting on my, why are you trying to take my nigga's spot, bro? This ain't for you. You will never beat Shelly Belly, bro. That's why your dumb ass ain't even make it back to the poom poom, bro. Shelly would have jumped off that table somehow, some way. Shelly would have jumped off that motherfucking table, bro. If the bitch was falling, Shelly would have found a way to jump off of the bitch while it was falling. That's why everybody ain't meant to be doing what... Shelly is one of a kind. Everybody can't do what that nigga do. That nigga is acrobatic. That nigga is strong. That nigga is fast. That nigga is agile. That nigga is determined. This right here is Shelly Felly. Because this nigga just... He failed. He couldn't even make it off the... Shelly Felly. Get the fuck up off the screen. Who is you, bro? Let me show you what happened when you try to take Shelly Belly's spot. This... Shelly Belly not my nigga, because I don't... The nigga get... I can't explain it. But don't ever try to take my nigga's spot, bro. Period, bro. <laughs> Shelly would have thought that through a little bit more. He, maybe not. You know what? Maybe not. But Shelly would have figured it out. I don't know how to explain it, but somehow, some way, Shelly would have made it up off that tape. I don't know how to explain it, but that's what the fuck you get. Wait a minute. <laughs> The ass on this woman is like. I I don't know. It's like I love her. Like, it's like I'm in love with her. 
No, like real talk though. Like if this was your girlfriend, fellas, if this was your girl right here and she and y'all live together and she walk around like this on a daily, this is how she walk around. You can't convince me that you wouldn't be fucking this about five times. Like I would have no more nut left by the end of the month. None. I would be fucking this. Like, you can't just walk. Bruh, it's like every moment of the day, you gonna be seeing this shit jiggle all day. Like, as thick as she is, if she wearing this shit around the house, you gonna be just watching her ass jiggle everywhere the whole day. It's like, the moment that you think you done fucking for the day, as soon as you see her walk around the corner, it's like the urge gonna come back. She's gonna, she, she's gonna get pregnant. I'm not putting on a, no, no protection at all. Do you see her? I couldn't, couldn't live with her, bro. I would have no more nut left. I would, I would by the end of us being together, I would look like a raisin, bro. All my vital energy, all my vital juices, as a man, would be gone, bro. I would probably shrivel up like a raisin. I would be busting nuts every day, all day, for third, for, 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 for about thirty years, bro. For about thirty years, because I wouldn't break up with her. She would have to break up. Do you see her? Well, I feel like I've seen this before. And why the fuck is you at work twerking? I feel like I've seen this, but I, I could be wrong, though. You see, my, it's always a nigga that come out... It's always a nigga coming out the cut that's looking for some ass, bro. I ain't gonna fake. Let me see what she do before I even keep talking about this shit. See, me, I don't blame him. If I see ass twerking around the corner and we work together, nine out of ten, I done already flirted with you and shit. We done already had conversations. So, like, I would, I, I come around the corner to see what's up with her, too. You know what I'm saying? I don't even blame my boy for that. And how the fuck is she doing this shit with that shit on her head? Without it falling. Her balance is immaculate. Time to hang it up. I know y'all having fun, and some of y'all gonna be mad to hear me say this, but it's time for them to hang it up. I know it's it's cool and all that. It's gonna be some people that feel like you know they older, but they should still be able to have fun and all that. Like you got them type of people out there who will say this shit is okay because they they old and living life. Fuck it. Hell no. You feel me? Hang that shit up. You can't even move for real. Now it'd be different if she could still move certain ways, but her body is moving one inch. Listen, her body is moving one inch at a time. Like, it'd be different if she had some fluent movement. Y'all ain't even know I could do no shit like that. If she had some fluent movement and shit. Her body is like this, bro. Her, she can't move, bro. And I don't want y'all to think I'm trying to be mean because she, you know, she older. I got respect. You feel me? Much respect and love. You feel me? Respect and love that way to the, to the elderly. But we not about to sit and act like she uh, she not moving at only one inch at a time. When you moving like that, you should just relax at, at your age. You know what I'm saying? Relax, enjoy your grandkids, enjoy your family, enjoy the last, you know what I'm saying? The last stretch of your life and just be graceful and fade out gracefully. Leave this for the young. Look at her. <laughs> He don't feel nothing. Your husband feels nothing. Ain't no grinding or nothing going on, bro. Y'all 
Y'all got crazy flood. Now I seen this before. This right, this this man right here. I seen this before. I seen this before. And I know y'all wondering if I seen it before, why would I put it on this video? Now the reason why I didn't put this on this video is because I wanted to talk about it with y'all, right? I wanted to discuss this subject with y'all. Don't y'all ever in life make fun of me, bro, for dancing ever fucking again. Look at this nigga, bro. And I'm not even about to sit here and talk about it. I'm not going to just pause it and talk about it because I seen it. But we going to sit and look at how fucked up this man did this dance. Now, when I do my shit and when I start doing y'all dances, don't say shit to me. When y'all letting niggas like this get away with this shit, I can do it. Whatever the fuck he doing, I can, I, I can guarantee I can do it 10 times better than him. Don't ever come at me crazy for dancing how I dance when there's people like this out here on the loose. Is all I'm saying, bro. And I rest my case. See, this type of shit, like, Bro, come on, man. Like, as a nigga, you can't be mad at me for coming out the cut, like, trying to get up in that. You feel me? Like, as she bouncing her shit, here I come. You feel me? Here I come. Because, like, come on, bro. The ass is crazy. I got to at least see if I can get some of that. I got to at least see, bro. The ass is crazy, bro. And then I hate when it be bitches, they come outside dressed like that, and then they get mad at a nigga for trying to talk. Or they get mad at a nigga for staring. Or they get mad at, you feel me? They get mad at a nigga for showing attention, but let nobody show you no attention. When you put this shit on, you gonna feel like something wrong with you. You gonna be, you gonna feel a way about that if niggas ain't trying to fuck with you. Cause you already dressing like this for the attention. What other reason would it be? You know what type of attraction you gonna, you feel me? You know what type of attention you about to bring when you dress like that. Why the fuck is you mad at me for giving you what you want? You stupid ass, dumb ass. <sighs> you stupid ass, dumb ass, hoe ass bitch. Why the fuck is you mad? No, just play. <laughs> Let me chill. When you bust a nut in a bitch and she says she don't know if her period came or not, you gotta talk to God and promise you'll never do it again. I know y'all can all relate to that. That ass is crazy. Her shit is like water, bro. Am I looking at this shit right? Her shit is fluent, bro. Like, fluent as a language. That shit is crazy, bro. Like, her ass, like, jello, like, melt. It's like it's just melting on this nigga, bro. Oh yeah, we gotta go fuck. Like, 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 I know it's just dancing and stuff like that and all that. That's cool. I get it. Like, it's part of the fun and the festivities. But a nigga gotta try to fuck. Like, I can't make her fuck, but but I'm gonna bring it up though. Like, not like let's go fuck, but like, can I? You feel me? Can we link up later or something? Like, you gonna go on a date? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna try to figure out a way to fuck. Because that ass is like jello, bruh. And I know he feeling that shit because when it's soft like that, it's something about it when it's soft like that. It's like when a bitch throw that ass on you. Because I'd have been in parties and shit. When you at parties and a bitch throw her ass on you, if I don't know how to explain it. If she know how to do it right, you going to feel that shit. And you going to like, I don't know. like It's going to make you really want to fuck for real. 
I would definitely be in her ear like, "What you doing over there?" Like, <laughs> I'll be in her ear like, "Hey, what you about? Hey, what you about to do? <laughs> hey, what you about to do?" <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Look at how he looked at the end. He looked at her at the end like he forgot this was even a dance. He already in his mind, he think he really fucking. You see how somebody had to pull his attention away? Look how how look how how into it he was, and then he got snapped out of it. Like watch at the end, like it's real subtle. But he was real into it that he got snapped out of it. He was being hypnotized. This is what I'm trying to tell y'all. I done been through this. I know what he's thinking in his head. He trying to fuck for real. I'm telling you. This is how this shit really go. In his mind, he was already fucking her. You couldn't even tell him they had clothes on. Wait a minute, man. Like, first of all, the disrespect is crazy in two different ways. The first way is this lady look like she a little bit older. She not old. Don't get me wrong. She not old, but she not like a, she not in her twenties. You know what I'm saying? She a little bit older woman. Show a little bit more respect. You know what I mean? Like, you don't do that to an older woman. You could think whatever you want. I know me. I would be thinking shit too if her ass fat or ass fat, but. I ain't about to be on no extra shit. I don't even be on extra shit like that when it comes to women my age. Or, you know what I mean? I don't be on that type of shit. Like, if a, if a girl walk by, she got a fat ass. Either I'm going to say something to her or I keep my thoughts to myself. I ain't the cat calling type. I ain't the extra. You know, I ain't extra. Like, I don't. I ain't trying to overdo shit. You know what I mean? If I want to say something to you, I'm going to speak to you directly. Real polite. Real, you know what I mean? You know, I'm cool. You feel me? This is just disrespectful. I feel like you sh you shouldn't be doing that shit. That shit kind of crazy. And then that's the first way is disrespectful. The second way is disrespectful is the fact her it looked like her man with her. And he and first of all, I mean, he just letting it happen. Like he ain't seem disturbed. I mean, what you gonna do? It's a million of them niggas doing that shit. I don't know where they at, but it's a million niggas doing that shit. But I don't know. I would have. I don't know. I feel like I would have had to say something like. I don't know, like, I don't know, that's just some crazy shit. But I couldn't imagine this being my woman and it's just niggas just, this, this shit is, that's a weird situation. That dumb Reggie, show them what bees do. Show fucking them, okay. Yo, fuck up, okay. I'm happy for him, that's all I'm gonna say, I'm happy for him. But shit, hey, that was the Viral Jamaican Clips, man, part 20, man. I hope y'all enjoyed that. Like I said, send me more clips, man. Go to my Instagram. My Instagram is AGTV Clips, AGTV Clips, AGTV Clips, man. Go to my Instagram, send it to me, DM it to me. Whatever you see on there that's funny, just keep sending them back to back to back to back to back to back. Eventually, it'll probably be in one of these videos. I appreciate everybody who be sending them to me. Keep it coming, you know what I'm saying? If you're new to the channel, go follow my Instagram. Go send me the, you know what I'm saying? Go do what you got to do, man. But other than that, I ain't really got too much to say, man. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know some react to next. I'm out.